we had been talking about how to create amazing speech conclusions. And in case you missed it, first step, summarize your main points. Next step, reinforce your thesis. And the final step and the one that's really important and so many people get wrong, have a vivid ending. Vivid, V-I-V-I-D. Look it up. It's not saying your name. It's not saying I'm done. That's it. The camera is shaking weird all over the place while we watch you walk back to it and turn the recording off. A vivid ending is something that the audience will remember long after your speech is over. Hopefully they'll remember it more than anything else and it'll constantly remind them of your thesis and the purpose of your speech. Let me give you an example. I once had a student way back in the days before Uber give a speech about drunk driving. And at the end of the speech, he passed out little cards for everyone to put in their wallet that had numbers printed for all the local taxi cab companies. Again, I know pretty Uber, it's really hard to imagine, right? That was really powerful because what he said was the next time you're out with friends and you might be tempted to drive yourself home, when you look in your wallet, you'll see this and you'll remember, don't drive drunk. It's a really powerful and vivid ending, and it was something that everyone in the class immediately took his advice and put that card in their wallet. And you may not be able to give things to your virtual audience, physical things, but you can give them words that they can remember, that they will connect with, words that will make them want to come back and watch your next speech for the next round. Try it. It's another one of my bright ideas. I'm Dr. Sunny, and for more information, you can subscribe to my channel or even take my class online.